All right, what's up, guys? So I got this game brand new, and uh, I played it, and I still didn't do a review on it. Uh, kind of one one just because busy, you know, everything happening uh, lately, which you guys know if you're on my page. And two, I wasn't very happy with it. Uh, I wasn't. I didn't hate on it. it. You know, it wasn't like horrible. But I honestly feel like I could have waited till it was like twenty bucks and maybe cheaper and been happy with it and i thought it was going to be way way um better than this and i'm sure some of you guys might even know what's coming uh it's a ps4 title and i'm gonna do unboxing of it the way i got it i don't have the special edition or anything and i bought it brand new and uh, sorry my legs are killing me sitting there on the ground um but if i sit up high it's like it just doesn't the video doesn't turn out good because i'm in my living room right now <laughs> Need to get my desk and everything all set up. Um, maybe I'll just start doing it in my garage. <laughs> uh, it is, as I don't want to make this one as long as the last one, it is Last of Us Part 2. Yeah, I'm sure some of you guys already know because I, I think this was a feeling across the board. First Last of Us was great. It was good. I, I didn't think it was as epic as everybody else did. You know, I played on PS4 for the first time, actually. It was like the remake or remaster. Uh, I played a little bit on PS3 uh, back then. Ooh, excuse me. But I was disappointed with it, guys. Uh, I, let's, let's show it here. So let's see. They like glare. I need to get rid of the glare. There's just nothing I can do. I might turn that bigger light off and just leave the smaller light on. It's crazy because you see the glare from the TV so much. Let's see if I turn that off. Nope. You're still going to see things. That's glare from the light. Um, so basically, and I don't know why the video is turning out so grainy. My video, no matter what, my phone, I think my phone's uh, starting to kind of crap the bed, guys. But basically, um, if you got the standard editions, just Last of Us Part 2, um, it's two discs. Basically, it tells you a little bit. The graphics were, were pretty good. I was really impressed with the graphics. Um, Let's show here. You just open it up. I got a little flyer for Predator Hunting Ground. Um, on the back was um, Ghost of Tusami, if I'm saying that right. I haven't tried it. I heard that game is really good. I have not tried it. If you've tried that, let me know. Um, but basically, you just got Part 1 and Part 2, which is the play disc, I believe, yeah. And uh, nothing special in there. I don't have the extended edition, or sorry, uh, like... Um, collector's edition or anything but here's my thoughts and review on this one um graphics were good gameplay was decent it was cool getting on the horse and going around the open world and and some stuff but i feel like there was too much human interaction not enough of the clickers type zombies kind of stuff um and even with them it was kind of really repetitive uh, now, I, I beat it on the easy difficulty. I'm more of a storyline guy. I know you, you play it on harder, you know. Uh, for, for those of you that enjoy that, you get a little bit more of that. But I like a balanced uh, story. So I wish they made the AI a little bit more intelligent, a little bit smarter, um, a little bit harder instead of the just basic routine, walk here, walk there. Um, but harder in a more realistic way, not just I turned up the um difficulty i know sometimes it makes a little difference on there and i'd have to say i haven't played it on that but then the first one i did um and it made a little difference but it really just kind of made that portion of the game harder it didn't really balance the whole game which i i like more of a balance there so i'm more of a storyline guy and i like when they balance the game even on easy or hard doesn't matter either way um but i didn't like that joel died I don't think anybody did, but I didn't think that really fit in this storyline really good. Um, I think they, if anything, you know, he should have died if they made a third one or something like that. And around that time, he's getting a little bit older. Um, the flashbacks with him were pretty cool. I wish you got to play as him more. Uh, I can't even remember if I even got to play. Excuse me, if I even got to play with him. I think he did once um, as him. Um, I get... And this is another thing some people might jump on my back for. 
I didn't like the whole uh, the lesbian and gay thing, and it wasn't that um, they were gay or, or you know or you know lesbian characters. Um, that didn't bother me at all. Uh, I've grown up around that. I've been around. You know, my aunt is. Um, I've had friends and stuff. I what I don't like is if you are who you are, you're who you are, and you should be proud of it and be comfortable with it and be happy with it. it, it fuck what other people else think. Um, but when you try to shove it in people's face constantly or try to make it like you're something better because you're that than a, a straight person or a, um, a black or white person or you know anything like that, I hate, I, I don't like that. I, I think that's, you are, you should be proud of who you are. If, if something's wrong inside of you where you've got to feel, you got to push it on people so much or prove that you are that, then maybe you got something going on up there. And I felt in that game that they they tried to push the the gay characters, um, the the lesbian characters, really really hard, um, in almost a like constantly in your face kind of way. Instead of like you know a mild relationship here and there with them, cool, you get it, you you got what's going on. They had a relationship, you know, but it was just constantly. I almost felt like that was more the damn focus of the game than the actual action and the. And the story going and everything that happened, and I, th I I did like how they went between Abby and and uh, uh, what's her name, uh, darn it now her name you know the main character the girl, um, Lily or uh, I can't remember her exact name, um, and then the ending was just kind of like really I don't I was disappointed with it guys I felt like. It was trying to state more things that really had nothing to do with the damn game than it was actually focus on the game and the storyline. Uh, it was just so much focus on these girls' relationships. Um, and that would have been cool to a certain point. Like, hey, this is how they're having a relationship. But basically like Walking Dead did with a zombie apocalypse or something, you know? But geez, through the it was like every chapter had to have something to do with it or do with uh, Abby and her relationships with the guy and then the girls and things like that. And I just felt like that was too much of the focus of the game. It took away from it, it was almost so much focus on that that it took away from the human aspect of relationships with the people of like actual talks and feelings and things like that and and things going on it was so much just like it was like hey we're in a relationship well, look we're in a relationship we're we're two females and we're together and it was too much and uh instead of like hey they actually have a deep relationship through knowing each other this understanding each other and it touched a little bit on that but like even like with joel um, it touched on that some in the beginning about her and, and, and Joel, and I liked that, how he was like a father figure, then she was all angry at him. But then they, they even pushed that, the whole anger thing, almost like too much. Um, I feel like today, with these kind of things, we already have enough problem with people having their feelings and, and acting too sporadic on their feelings instead of acting like a grown adult or mature, mature person and, and being like, okay, you know what? I'm pissed off, but I got to get it in check. I got to be realistic about things. Not Nobody owes me shit, and I got to fix my life and, and, and fix myself and do better for myself, not only myself, but the people around me. Um, and I felt like that game kind of brought like, oh, I'm angry, so I get to be an, an asshole to you and treat you like shit because you made me angry with one thing, you know, one, you know something similar like that. So I felt like the focus was so much on that. Um, that it really, really bugged me. It made the, the game unenjoyable. And then there was some glitches. There were some issues. Um, and then uh, there was some stuff that was really repetitive, like I said. So all in all, if I had to rate The Last of Us Part 2, man, guys, I, I honestly think I'd give it like a 4 or 5 um, out of 10. Uh, I was not as pleased with it as I thought. Nowhere near. Nowhere near. Um I think the storyline could have had a lot more action, a lot more, um, even when they did Joel in, it was sad, but it wasn't like connection like it was the first time when like Joel's daughter died or, you know, there just wasn't that kind of emotion put into it in my opinion. 
um, again, because it was stating to have these characters so dominant. They Everybody had to be so dominant of uh, who they were and acted instead of dominant in like a leader role or dominant in a good group supporter or something like that. It was like uh, they had to be so dominant of their own personal role uh, in a way where it just got annoying after a while. Um, so that's my opinion on that. Um, it's still worth checking out guys. If you haven't, you know, I know the next gen's out now. If you haven't checked it out and it's dropping in price, I think it's on black Friday right now for like 30 bucks. I still wouldn't buy it. <laughs> I would wait until it's either downloadable for free or, you know, 10 to, to 10 to 20 bucks and, uh, maybe go with it there. Um, and, and let me know, you know, if you liked it, let me know why you liked it. I'm interested to see. I didn't hate it, guys, you know, but I just was not impressed with it after it being pushed back and the longevity and everything else for it. Um, I thought it should have turned out a little bit better. Um, and I thought they had a really cool storyline to really go with some stuff. Even if they stuck with the storyline they had, they, it could have been projected a little bit better uh, and led to some different things. So let me know, hit the like button if you like it, hit the dislike if you don't. Um, let me know, again, if you're here for the car stuff, I appreciate it. If you don't mind helping out with the game stuff here and there, you know, like, share, subscribe, whatever you can do, I appreciate that. I'm gonna have more where I capture and play the games, um, but I had already beaten this and uh, I just wanted to go over that. So that's my thoughts on Last of Us 2 and just kinda unboxed it there for you guys, all right? Have a good one.